Hey guys, Croft is here. In this video, I want to talk about what really happened to engineers on LV223. There are many clues in Prometheus about this accident, including the hologram and the pile of engineer bodies. However, I will say right away that the assumptions that the crew makes about what happened are mostly wrong, just like their thoughts about the nature of engineers. This theory that I have actually explains why there is only one engineer left alive, why he didn't launch the ship 2000 years ago, what is exactly the green goo that we see on the panel, and there is one specific clue that almost directly indicates who killed the engineers. First of all, the entrance to the temple required the Prometheus crew to physically crouch down and wiggle their way through a broken door. As we can see, there's a curved door frame and what seems to be layers of stone slash metallic door, of which the final panel was busted in. There is no way an engineer would fit through that small portion of open door, thus the door to the temple was clearly shut or in process of closing when something busted in, not out as we're meant to believe in the movie. This shot shows clear cuts and straight metallic borders on each panel, indicating that this is not simply a hole in the pyramid. All that suggests that the temple may have fallen prey to an attack, not an outbreak. The path the crew follows seems to be filled with stones, as if the structure had been partially destroyed in some sense. As you can see, the rocks are placed in a way that would suggest something broke its way into the pyramid rather than broke out. These details suggest that, contrary to what we are led to believe through dialogue by the human crew members, the engineer pyramid on LV-223 was not the victim of an outbreak or hazardous material. Engineers are an ancient race of highly skilled and intelligent beings, the likelihood of one of them not handling their biomaterial with care is extremely unlikely. Also, their pressure suits mimic those of biohazard suits as we humans use today to shield ourselves from harmful chemicals. Thus, it's not a stretch to assume that the engineer pressure suits would have acted as protection against the black goo and all the engineers in the hologram had these suits on. Now that we know that it was an attack on the temple, let's talk about who or what could have done that. LV-223 seen in Prometheus and LV-426 seen in Alien and Aliens are part of the same system. The space jockey ship which crashed on LV-426 was very, very old and carried a cargo full of xenomorph eggs. It's possible that the space jockey represented a different race of engineers, one that have opposed to the group on LV-223. That could explain the size difference between the space jockey and engineers in Prometheus. Or possibly the space jockey was a radical from their own group who attempted to stop the assault on Earth. There could have been an engineer civil war due to the one extremist fraction and their will to destroy humanity. Perhaps aliens were dropped onto the LV-223 to eradicate the engineers before they launched their assault on Earth. But in the process, the cargo was unstable and got loose somehow, killing the radical space jockey and crashing on LV-426 shortly after its drive-by of LV-223. This is certainly a possible scenario. Now let's discuss what is the green goo on the hologram control panel. This is not the black goo and it looks very reminiscent of xenomorph saliva, however it's not. It looks like the goo consists of intricate cells which are seemingly still active even after 2000 years. What is this green goo then? I think it may be the engineer blood. In the comic books, when engineer fought with a predator, his blood was clearly green. I also made a video about this fight, so you can check this out on my channel. The burnt engineer face has some green spots and when the deacon bursts out of the engineer, we can also see some green drops despite the deacon contaminated the engineer body and organs turning them blue. But who actually killed the engineers? There are some blatant audio clues to support an alien attack. At the end of Prometheus, we witness Deacon and his roar. 
when David activates the hologram, a very similar sound to the deacon's roar is played as the hologram starts up. So the weird sound that we hear at the beginning of the hologram is actually Deacon. The roar only happens when David activates the holographic recording of which the pyramid replaces both audio and visual data. You can compare yourself the audio played at the start of the hologram and at the end of Prometheus and the two match up identically. That can give a possible answer why there is only one engineer left alive. Given that the crew didn't find the Deacon's body, there was an engineer versus Deacon conflict following the initial attack. The engineer who David wakes up in Prometheus was the only one to survive the ordeal and who likely killed the deacon or at least trapped him in the room behind a pile of dead engineer bodies. The reason he didn't fly in the juggernaut ship is unknown, but could be due to the fact that he was infected by the deacon prior to his victory, leaving a spore inside of him. The spore was then mutated when impregnated by the trilobite at the end of the film. By entering into cryosleep, as David suggests to Shaw earlier on after discovering her abnormal fetus, he would have slowed its growth and extended his life until more of his comrades showed up to assist him. Obviously, they never did, and when he wakes up 2000 years later, he realizes that his people may very well have been wiped out. Thus, he sparks his rage and immediately launches his assault on Earth. What do you guys think about this? Leave your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more alien content.